Hi y'all, she was seven. Okay, so I got a few video requests to do and um, I chose one of them because, you know, this, this is for like married people or people who have been in a relationship for a long time. Okay, uh, the, the, requ the request came from Shara Love. Okay, so thank you for sending me some requests. And I chose this one. It's Wives, How to Become a Better Receiver of Your Husband's Love letting in the good like okay so um what i think that means is i'm sorry y'all my voice is just coming back <clears throat> what i think that means is like if you've been married a while you've been in a relationship with this person for a long time y'all are married or y'all are in a long-term relationship and he's done some things you've done some things and the in love feeling is not really there anymore. Some there's some resentment. You've lived with this person. You have you've seen their habits, their gross things, their their things that pet peeves that get on your nerves. You're just living with this person, and now you're like, you know, um, he's your husband. Y'all are married, and it's like, you know, you've forgiven things, but you didn't forget. And now when he comes to embrace you or show you love, you're kind of like, oh, get away from me, you know. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I still love you, but um, not right now and get away. It's not like the honeymoon phase anymore. It's not like, oh, I love you so much. You're my soulmate, blah, 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 blah. It's like, did you pay the bills? Did you wash the dishes today? Did you pick up this? Did you do that? Um, or you forgot again? I can't believe, you know, it's it's the real ish, It's the real deal. Like when the honeymoon phase is over, it's, it's just living with someone else and tolerating them to the point where either you get tired of them or you're like, you don't want to be touched by them anymore. That's why there's a lot of sexless marriage. Because after the honeymoon phase is over and you get to see what you're really dealing with, it's like, okay, really? And that's why sometimes a lot of wives aren't in the mood. A lot of wives are just like always rude and negative. Because they have to see every aspect of this person, okay? There's like, the privacy wall is down. They're not trying to be cute or conceal anything anymore the cat's out the bag okay you see what you really got same with men you know <clears throat> so how do you embrace all of this and still allow your husband to come to you and give them love and all that kind of stuff my advice is to spend a lot of time apart okay and when I mean time I mean have your own hobbies have your own things to do don't always be up in his face um look let things be a mystery. Don't ask him where he's been every time he comes through the door. Don't ask him this. Don't ask. Him. Don't know everything about him. Okay. Um, also, like for me as a wife, I would suggest separate bathrooms, separate closets. Okay, because there is no way that in this day and age, a male and a female are going to share the same bathroom space and closet space without you know, um, seeing too much. When I say too much, I mean the privacy is gone. You know, you, how can you be turned on by someone who's doing this, 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 and that right in your face or in the same area, you know? <clears throat> so I suggest separate bathrooms, separate closets because, you know, sometimes you'll have, um, a pile of laundry and they're not going to pick this up and you're just going to get mad you're going to be focusing on that instead of the person themselves you're focusing on their bad habits and if you just have separate bathrooms and closets half of that stuff is eliminated you know they they clean their own bathroom you clean your own bathroom okay <clears throat> and like what man or, or what woman wants to you know see all of that and you know i don't so I've always, like me and my husband, we've only shared a bathroom like for a little while. I'm sorry, I was looking at something. We only shared a bathroom for a little while. I, I tolerated it because I know how men are. And so I didn't really care. But I did a long time ago when we first shared a closet. I was like, you got to pick this up. I can't do this. I can't do this. And I was just picking at everything because it was bugging me. You know, when I, my closet was pristine, perfect things. I had color coded stuff, you know, and he just threw everything everywhere. Had wire hangers and I had like all matching hangers. He would just throw his stuff everywhere and it would just frustrate me so bad. But after years, 
I say, you know, um, it doesn't bother me no more because I know that's what you're going to do. But recently, like we shared a closet recently, <clears throat> and he just, I never said anything, y'all. I never said anything about it. I just never said anything about it. He took it upon himself to move all his clothes to a different closet because he saw all my stuff being bunched up and piled up and I never complained. I just never did. He just saw that I needed more space. So being the person that he is, he just took all his stuff and put it in a different closet because we have like five closets that's just empty upstairs, you know. So he gave me the whole closet and I, didn't, I never said, you know, anything, but he gave it to me because he knows that we've always had separate closets and separate bathrooms and I, I think he just likes having his own privacy as well because I mean who wants to see you know a pile of dirty laundry and who wants to watch somebody you know go to the bathroom and stuff nobody so that's one thing I suggest the second thing I suggest is how to like how to forgive and let in love and get over the past and if you forgave them and you're still with them and you're still there but you're still holding on to anger and stuff Because some people will not leave their husband even if they really don't love them anymore. And this is funny. A lot of women do this now because they like the lifestyle and the comfort that the marriage brings. And plus, you know, they have kids with this person. So it's more like a living situation at this point. Because let's face it, y'all. If every woman had money, if every woman could support herself and was rich and didn't need a man, I, I know that most of these women would not be married, okay? So if you're in one of those where you don't want to mess everything up just so you can find your bliss and happiness with someone else to only repeat the same cycle, because nobody's perfect, y'all. Nobody's perfect. Every man is going to have their gross moments. Every man is going to mess up every once in a while. I mean, they might not break vows or anything, but they're going to do something that's going to make you mad. So what I suggest is if you're if you've forgiven that person and you've gotten over it, then you have to let it go. You just have to let it go. And if it's the resentment is still in your mind and you can't let him love you and touch you, then you need to figure out a way to imagine he is somebody else, y'all. <laughs> you need to put, you need to visualize who you really want. <laughs> because, you know, that's just what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta be like, you know what? I don't want him touching me. He did this, he did that. Uh -uh wait let me pretend this is somebody else you know if you have to get get you some wine uh relax yourself and just go with it you know watch whoever you want him to be before y'all you know get into it <laughs> see women are more emotional <clears throat> and men are more visual that's why they like to watch you know certain types of adult films and women they just want the person that they're intimate with to be the person that they want, who they like, who they're attracted to, blah, 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 who makes them feel good. So if you use your visual in your mind to imagine the type of person that you want to be intimate with and pretend that's him, that's what men been doing for years. <laughs> so it's kind of like you have to take you have to think like a man, like, I know that's a, a cliche, but you have to think like a man in that area of sex, you know. You think, how many husbands do you know who are married to somebody who is not attractive? And you know that they have to visualize another woman when they're having sex. You know, that happens all the time. That's why men go to strip clubs, come home and have sex with their girlfriend or wife. That's why they watch adult movies, because they're visualizing you as her. So why don't y'all just do the same, you know? It doesn't hurt. You're a parent. You're not going nowhere. It's too late for all of that. It's now, you know, now it's time to just. And then, like, once you do that so many times, it gets easier and easier and easier. And you can just be like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. It's just like washing the dishes, you know. <clears throat> and after you've been married so long, all, you know, you have to reinvent ways to do stuff. And if you're not like that with your partner, if you're not all like lovey-dovey or, you know, freaky or that kind of stuff, and you're just conservative and boring, blah, 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 blah. Well, you have to find other stuff to do besides sex, y'all. 
you got to find hobbies you got to get you know a lot of people start taking classes going out to eat drinking wine you know buying different kind of foods and learn how to cook together and I, there's more to it than sex y'all so and sometimes it takes women years to get over you know if she has been cheated on it takes years and she's always going to resent you and never trust you anyway never uh, motorcycle and sex will never be the same so you know if your man is messed up and you can't you know let him back in then you know either you're gonna have to pretend fake it you know visualize somebody else just to get it over with and do what you gotta do because a lot of women say, well, I, I could go find my soulmate. Maybe he's not my soulmate, but you thought he was your soulmate when you got married. Just, you're going to think that's your soulmate when, when you find him. And the next person is going to be your soulmate until you were not a soulmate. Because it's not about a soulmate. It's about your tolerance and how you react to situations and how you uh, move on from situations. Okay? Um, nobody's marriage is perfect. Everybody has flaws in their marriage and in themselves. So... You got to do what you got to do. You got to use your imagination, okay? Nothing is going to fix that. If your man messed up, nothing is going to fix that. You're going to have to fake it. You're going to have to forget about it. You're going to have to... Something really crazy is going to happen for you to appreciate him again. Like, you're going to have to be near death or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to have to win the lottery. I don't know. Something big is going to have to happen. Otherwise, y'all are just tolerating each other, Okay? And I know people are like, oh, let's go to marriage counseling and get our spark back, blah, blah, blah. That's temporary. That's like, y'all will go to marriage counseling. They'll suggest this. Y'all will go to sex counseling or something. They'll suggest this, this, and that. In two weeks, y'all are going to be back to the same old thing, okay? So, basically, you just have to tolerate something if you don't have the money to leave and go live your own life on your own. <laughs> and y'all know I keep it real. And that is the honest to God truth. If you, if most people were rich, they wouldn't be married. And we all know that. The only reason they would marry is because they have everything else. And now they're looking for the one thing that they don't have, which is marriage. And then they have to worry about, do they love me for me or my money? You know? Um, so, <clears throat> tolerance, imagination, and um, creativity will bring you through anything in a marriage, okay? Believe me, I have been married for, since, I've been married since 2006, been with the same man since 2001, and believe me, everybody in this marriage is messed up, okay? One time or another. But we're still here, and we're still going strong, so, you know, you gotta be creative. You can't, Take what society says it's supposed to be and try to fit it into a mold. You got to make your own marriage. You got to be like, you know what? I don't like this. I want to change my, you know, idea about what marriage is. And you make your own rules. You don't go by society. It doesn't matter. You know, if you don't want to sleep with your husband no more, don't sleep with him. You know, if you want to sleep with them but you don't know how to love him anymore, just have sex with him and don't worry about the love part, you know. <laughs> Men do it all the time, so... And for women who are in this type of marriage, you have, you're going to start thinking more like a man because you're going to realize what they've been doing all this time. You're going to be like, you know, what? if they could do it, like, you know, if they can do that, why can't I? You know, I, I can feel that way, too. I just have to. It doesn't have to be this way. I want it to be this way, but it don't have to be, you know. And and then he'll start thinking like you when you stop giving him attention. He'll be like, well, I want I want to have sex, but but she wants emotion. So. Maybe I should start being more nice. You know, it's it's kind of like an exchange. You know, you learn each other what each other do, likes and doesn't like. And if you can live together and tolerate each other, you learn from each other. So, either way, you're going to have to use your imagination. You're going to have to make it work. A lot of people give up. Like, people don't try anymore. A lot of people just give up. You know what? You don't make me feel the same anymore. I give up. I'm going to go find somebody else. You know? And it's just too easy to give up. If you can be together with somebody who who has almost made you commit a crime, that's the people and those are the type of people who are strong and have strength and 
don't give up on stuff. And that's the kind of person you want to be with, okay? You don't want to be with somebody who gives up easy and moves on to the next thing because they couldn't master this. If you can't master yourself and a relationship that you committed to, you're not going to be much help anywhere else, you know? And your, your kids are going to see that and they're going to be like, you know what, mama, did, mama gave up, I can do it. And it's just going to be a whole generational thing. So stick with it, y'all, and use your imaginations. All right? Bye.